hello collective welcome back to the ascended divination priestess channel um so there is something where i've picked up on it's like a group of women i think it's maybe like anywhere from three to five women um they are planning on jumping another woman they want to make it seem like it's not over a man but it is you may be you the star see <laughs> you may be in a situation that you're not even aware of so this is like, I don't know if you used to work for someone, work with someone, or there is just a gentleman that is aware of you and may have some really intense emotions for you. So this is a gentleman that I think likes to have options or was into that lifestyle. And there are quite a few women that he were talking to and became aware of his interest in you. And they are not happy. It's like you are the favorite of this man or something. And you've never even been with this man, never. I don't even think you've, like, communicated with this man in an intimate manner. Never kissed, never touched, nothing. Um, but there's something where it's like this man likes the way you carry yourself. You're not someone that's financially motivated. <clears throat> You're not someone that's, like, vain. Because the thing with these women that he's been entertaining is that they are with him for his money, what they can get out of him. Basically, he's like the bag for them. But you are the complete opposite. So there's something where it's like they're trying to block him from coming towards you. And because they know if he comes towards you, he's more than likely going to give up that lifestyle or something like that. Or someone may even be in the process of giving up their lifestyle, going through healing before they approach you. And these women are blaming you for the fact that they won't have this man in their life, giving them money anymore for doing practically nothing. <laughs> so just be on the lookout. Like if you're tra traveling somewhere, um, just be just be vigilant because these women want to surprise you. They may come towards you and act like, Oh, they're just coming to see how you're doing. You look very nice. You know, they're just being courteous. No, it's a plot for you to kind of let your guard down around them and then they can do you something. So just really be careful out here. These are women that are extremely jealous. Um, you've never met. I don't know if you've met them before or if maybe, I don't know if you've never met them or if you've met them briefly, you're not well acquainted with them. <coughs> But there's something where they're pissed off that this man wants to give to you. And he's he may be less smitten by you as well. And it really all has to do with the fact that you carry yourself with class and your mental. Yeah, someone has a lot of emotions for you. Like, I don't know if there's just a man that's never been in love before. Like, people love him, but he's never loved. <laughs> hey, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> this man has never been in love before. Women have been in love with him, but he's never been in love with them. Here you come, little old you. I don't know what you did, but this man is in love with you. Like, this man has intense emotions for you. I think when he started, he probably just thought, oh, uh, it's just lust. Yeah, I just like her. Maybe I want to, it's just another one of those women. I just want to sleep with her. She's fairly good looking. Uh, you know, I don't know. There's something where it's like he thought it was just lust in the beginning. And people may have told him that it was just lust. Um, but then as time went on, his emotions got even more deeper and deeper for you. I don't know if you work with this man and he has access to you, may watch you every day, or maybe you're on a platform and he's watching you every day. I think someone watches you frequently and they have developed some type of intense emotions for you. They do genuinely like you, but this is someone who's like a, I don't know if he's like a bit of a thug or he's just like, I don't know if he's exactly a thug. I think this is just a like a someone that likes a lot of women he likes to have options uh a bit of a womanizer which is unfortunate um but the women that he's been dealing with these are kind of low vibrational energies that have just been there with their hands out to him it's the guy it's like a benefit uh i don't know if it's like a, it's not a friends with benefits because there's some type of transactional uh activity taking place is that he gives them money i guess i don't know if it's like a monthly basis or something 
Um, I, and I don't know if there's like a contract between him and these women um, that they know what it is. They have an understanding. It may be a verbal understanding, a verbal contract or a written contract. I don't know what it is, but there's some type of agreement where they know there's no emotions, that he's not in a relationship with them. He just likes to have options. You feel me? Um, but these women, they're very much caught up on the fact that they don't want him connecting with you because you're someone that is high vibrational. You're someone that is into love. You're not in, you're not going to just lay with anyone uh, just for the heck of it, just for pleasure. Most high priestesses, empresses, uh, emperors don't move that way. Uh, there has to be some, some type of substance to the relationship for them to even entertain you in the first place. Um, so if you're not coming with any type of genuine intentions, you're not coming for love or a relationship. They don't, they don't really want anything to do with that because they don't like their time, their time being wasted, right? Um, but I guess this is a man that has a lot of time to waste. Um, and these women would like to waste more, more of his time. So, um, yeah, they don't want him coming towards you to give, give to you. You could be a queen of pentacles, the queen of cups. Queen, you're auto queens within the deck. So you're basically an empress. You could be like a queen of swords and this man sees you as a queen of cups. Um, maybe you will be a queen of cups towards him once you get to know him and if he's done the work to heal. But just know there are, I think like three to five um, women that are trying to figure out how they can get their hands on you. And when I tell you, when these women see you, they're planning on being like, Hi girl, you look so nice. And oh my gosh, where did you get that from? It's all like a tactic. First of all, they don't care about what it is you have on because these are women that are materialistic. You could have something that's something on that you bought from Walmart. And they're going to be like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. You need to tell me where you got it from so I can go get one. They'll never shop at Walmart because this man gives them enough money to go and buy Louis Vuitton. Things like that. These are women that are very materialistic and superficial. Um, so they are planning on figuring out how to approach you. If you have some type of event you're supposed to attend, um, let's say like a, a hiring event, a wedding, a party, a court case or something, they're planning on approaching you. Like these people are in your life. They know they're keeping track of your movements. These are women that may even be popping up at your home trying to get in or something or just make you feel uncomfortable, something like that. But it's all because of the fact that this man maybe has made it clear like you're his favorite uh, even though he hasn't slept with you, has had no any type of intimate interaction with you or anything like that. But there's something where it's like it's a lot of envy. It's a, basically how they're seeing it is you're trying to tell us like the three or the five of us can please you. But you got to think about it. If it takes three or five of you all to... <laughs> Lord have mercy. Oh, Lord have mercy. Three to five. Golly. If it takes three to five of you to be with him, for him to even feel like fulfilled in some way, what what are you really doing the job? <laughs> Lord have mercy. That means he's not fulfilled. One of you may be good at one thing. The other is good at another thing. Maybe he's found someone he believes can fulfill all those needs. In one, all, it's an all in one kind of thing. Lord have mercy. I'm just trying. What kind of drive does this, does this man have? Because what I'm hearing is that this is someone that sometimes has these women all in the same bed. God. That is so gross. gross. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to have to spray my room because the funk. This is a man that likes to have some of these women all at once sometimes in the same bed. Um. So if it's taking that many of them to give him some type of fulfillment, I doubt this person is even fulfilled. It's some type of illusion because if you need that amount of women to do you some, they ain't really doing nothing. So anyways, let's go ahead. There could be a queen of wands in the mix that maybe used to be his favorite because she's good at something. Um, the, the, the B job, she may be good at that. There could be a woman even trying to pretend like she's pregnant or something. I don't know. But all of these women are unhappy that this man is wanting to connect with you, to give with you. Maybe he is to hide his emotions for you. They don't want him communicating with you. They may be telling him that 
whatever love he has for you is not genuine. It's not true. You're not someone that's genuine. They may not want him confessing his love to you or something of that nature. But there's just something where it's like uh, you don't really understand what it is you feel for her. You may just be lusting after her. Whatever you can get from her, you can get, get from us. Something like that, okay? Um, there could also be something about a child here. I don't know if a woman was pretending to be pregnant or a woman had a child that's not a masculine. Um, <clears throat> something like that is going to come up. You may want to take that child to get them tested on your own terms. Like, don't rely on the institution that told you that the child is yours. Because there could be something where it's like a woman is paying uh, an institution behind the scenes to make it look like a child belongs to you. Um, so you need to take that child or get some type of swap, swap from them and go get them get that tested if you want to know if a child is yours. I've been picking up on that for a while and been putting it off because I really don't like to touch on children's topics. But since it keeps coming up, this page of cups keeps coming up a lot. I think someone does need to go do some type of DNA test, okay? Um, the fact that this... Let's go back to the the, the womanizer. The, the, oh, Lord have mercy with, these, mercy with these brothers out here. They just don't know what they be doing to themselves when they get into these kind of activities. Um, there's something where it's like this man's emotions for you. It's some type of bad news to a whole institution or a whole dynamic of families, a friend group, whatever this is. Some type of revelation going on. There is something where it's like, I don't know if they were trying to get this man not to have feelings for you, not to pour into you, not to invest into you. The fact that we're starting with the Ace of Cups means that this man's emotions um, are still intact that like he's still interested in you. And this is some type of bad news to an institution. They're realizing that there's really nothing. I'm telling you, I split my deck and it went on the four of cups. They're realizing that this man's emotions, they haven't done anything to change how he feels about you. Like someone's emotions are getting more and more intense for you every day. And at this point, it's not really just lust. It's not just the fact that he wants to be able to lay with you. It's the fact that this man may even want to settle down with you. Like someone has gone through some type of change. This could be a king of wands that used to live a little specifically. Uh, he was very interested, interesting in the past. But there's some type of healing work this man is going through. And these people are seeing it as some type of bad news. And they're not happy about this, right? They're not happy that this man is listening to his intuition. This could be a king of swords as well. Or you could have a few men that are interested in you. This, there could be a king of swords taking actions behind the scenes to balance something out and someone is very determined to get to you uh also be very cautious there's a warlock behind the scenes this is like a king of swords reverse that is very much burdened at the fact that something is coming towards you there's a warlock that's very obsessed with the feminine energy i feel like all of these characters they are all connected in some type of way. So they could all be from the same institution. Maybe they're all the ones that have been trying to tell a man not to have feelings for you. I don't know how you can tell someone not to have feelings. Because love is not something you can control. People cannot really control who it is they fall in love with. Some people fall in love at first sight. And some people, um, if you're like me, I have to get to know your mental first before I can even love you. Um, so there are all different types of people, but when it comes down to it, once someone falls in love with another person, there's really nothing you can do to change that. Whether it's at first sight, whether it's after they've gotten to know the person like myself here, you can't do anything to change that. It is what it is. Uh, you're just going to have to let those kind of things play out. But I think there's an institution or toxic dynamic that believes that it can change destiny, which it cannot. I don't know if there's a man that was set up to be put in jail or something so that he wouldn't make an offer to a woman or wouldn't bring some type of information to a woman. Or maybe they were all plotting to do something to a woman and it didn't go accordingly and they set him up to take the blame to... Uh, Take one for the team, um, but there's some type of uh, just revelation taking place within an institution or amongst a group of friends. Friends, quite honestly, it's a few different revelations going on. Okay, um, 
there's a uh, there's a woman within an institution well the revelations let's cover that first one is the fact that this man has some type of emotions for you two is the fact that something is going to you instead of to a woman of high honor or a man of high honor in a community because these are two false people regardless of the situation whether it's a man or a woman it's a false person so something is going to be given to you there could have been some type of transfer of wealth and someone may have been having access to this money and misusing it for quite a long time and something is being uh, more than likely balanced out. These people may have stole some type of inheritance and they've been trying to block or stop the truth from coming out. Um, there's something where also it's like they're trying to stop you from moving forward. They're calling it a test or something, but it's not really a test. These are people that are highly insecure. Uh, people that are used to being able to control the masses, control other people around them. This may be an institution that feels like they're very powerful. They have connections all over the place, but there's an institution that's about to fall from grace because of a few characters within this institution that they refuse to let go of. They've been holding on to in this institution. And I keep being told to tell you all, oh, if you want your institution to last for another five to 10 years, you may want to start eliminating the bad nuts within this institution. There's a queen of pentacles reverse within an institution that needs to be let go because this is the corporate of what it is that's going on in this institution when it comes to the darkness, when it comes to the manipulation, when it comes to blocking other people's finances. So if you worked in this institution uh, under this woman, <clears throat> What it is she, she does is when you leave this institution and you decide to go get another job elsewhere, elsewhere, they are connecting with those institutions to tell them not to hire you. It's basically like a cult like mentality this woman has created and everybody within this institution that she runs. I don't think she owns this institution. I think she runs this institution. Um they are kind of living in fear is that they cannot leave because when they leave they don't have other options because she's going to connect with those other institutions that they want to go work for and tell them not to hire them right so this is something she's been doing for a long time and i don't know if maybe people are not aware of the situation but it's basically her having control of these people's lives i i don't know if they don't know that that's what's going on like they've basically allowed someone to have control of their destiny of their purpose their options their offers and things like that basically there's one woman controlling everybody's destiny um and i don't know why it is that she is allowed to do this it's really disheartening and this is a different level of bitterness so basically these people have been in this institution for so long and putting up with this nonsense for so long that a lot of them too have become bitter so then when you come into this institution and they see some type of light light about you they feel like they need to put it out first put it out first of all when you come into this institution she's telling them to watch you how you move what it is you do they're finding out all of your flaws and insecurities things that bother you finding out about your childhood what do you do on a regular basis this is all them getting into your life they're finding out your information you work for the institution already so they will have access to your personal information as far as your social birth certificate birth um birth date uh ids and things like that and they're misusing those things to do some type of illegal background check on you because when you are with a company there are specific types of background checks that they are allowed to do. If you are not someone that's in going into like accounting, the company you're working for has no business doing like an accounting background check on you. That's not legal. Um, they have to do the background check based on like your scope of practice. Like <clears throat> you can't be applying to be an assistant and they're out here looking into your 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 um your credit report and all of that, right? Um, there's just some type of, there are certain boundaries, right? Um, of course, they can look into your criminal background check, your driving records and things like that. But when it's like your credit report, there are certain information that they shouldn't be looking into. But this woman here, 
that's not how she moves. This is someone that looks into everything because she's looking for information that she can use against you um, when you try to leave or uh, when you've gotten like acquainted with these people and you try to leave there's something where it's like they've gotten you well acquainted with themselves you feel comfortable maybe you've been partaking in things that you shouldn't be partaking in and then when you try to leave they try to blackmail you because you are privy to the things that they do within this institution uh, you know their secrets and things like that god forbid you're like a a light worker or someone with gifts like myself Oh, baby, they are extremely intimidated by you. They are threatening because, one, you don't even know the physical. You know the spiritual things that these people do. Girl, sir, no. So someone, in order for an institution to balance itself out, this woman is going to have to be put out of that institution. This woman is trying to figure out how to trap a wealthy man, how to stop some type of ace of pentacles being given to you, something, some type of generosity being shown to you because someone is very pissed off. They want you to live in poverty for the rest of your life. But this is her path. This is the destiny that she has chosen. The truth is coming out about some type of betrayal and what these people have been investing in when it comes to uh, you having offers, new beginnings and things like that. Like all the truth is coming out, but the corporate is a woman within an institution that makes the moves. She considers herself the puppeteer. She controls everybody within this institution. She tells them what to do, what not to do, how to move, who to block, uh, what to say, what is this person up to. So everybody is like an eye for this woman within the field. So if you're out in the field working, it don't matter what position you're in, you best believe this woman is aware of you, what you do on a regular basis. Yeah, they're trying to stop this man from moving on, from traveling towards you, from giving to you. Um, but it it looks like something that is going to take place anyways. Whatever emotions this man has for you is something that has enabled him to go through some type of ascension. Uh, someone is healing. Someone is not operating from a place of love or maybe that is what they are trying to do. Um, but it has this woman really pissed off, this woman of high honor within a community. Um, it could also be something where this woman or this institution is realizing that you're not trapped. There's something where it's like they didn't want anyone helping you. They want you on your own, rejected, isolated, uh, living in poverty for life. Um, just There's something about jealousy I keep picking up on. It's like this woman envies you because you may be someone that's very beautiful, very intellectual. You're naturally charismatic you may be naturally compassionate naturally nurturing things you like you have all these beautiful tricks about you with this ace of cups showing up like you're someone that pours into other people that are around you when you are somewhere the environment tends to thrive and maybe someone has taken on their persona since you left an institution a situation an environment i don't know what this is but whatever it is she's been trying to pass off as hers the, the personality, the essence is just not fitting and it's just not sticking, especially with this page of cups reversed out here. She's disingenuine in this whole institution, knows it. Um, she's disingenuine to herself. She's disingenuine to the people around her. Someone is just financially motivated with this tower in front of her. This is someone that's just uh, vain. All they care about is money. They don't care about anything else. They care about having the finer things in life. You're just a number. If you work in this institution, you're just a number to her. So this is someone that's more than likely had people doing some things they really don't even want to participate in for a long time, but they don't have an option. Again, remember, they are trapped within this institution and it's because of this woman. This could be someone that slept their way to the top, but they may make it look like maybe they have the credentials to do what it is they do some people from like the past their credentials need to be looked into these are people that pretend like they have the credentials they don't have but when you come around they want to tell they want to prove that you are not who you say you are only for the truth to be revealed that you you you're being like so there's something, let me uh, also put this, there's something where sometimes institutions are not really paying attention to like the qualifications of people. Like if you're like a nurse, they're not really paying attention to the fact that you need to have a nursing license to do your job. But it'll get to a point where it's like the state is requiring 
uh, these in institutions to do that right. So they may do some type of bulk um, assessment or audit where they're requiring everybody to do this. Or it may be a situation where an institution is trying to figure out how much raise they should be giving to each department within their company. So they're asking everybody for their credentials. You may say you don't have a credential. You're just someone that knows how to do your job because of life experiences, right? You're not going to lie and say you don't, you're not going to lie and say that you have your credentials when you don't have it, basically, because something like that is very easy to prove that you don't have it in the first place. This would be someone that has done some type of maneuvering behind the scenes because this is someone that has access to a lot of uh, connections and things like that to make it make her credentials look legit when it's really not. OK, so while she's walking around with her fake credentials, she's making you feel like you are inadequate because you don't have credentials. <laughs> Or this could be a situation where she could have the credentials, but she doesn't know how to do the job. The energy is not there. The type of skills that she needs to accomplish or execute this job, it's just not there because the intention, the motivation behind why she wants this job or why she's doing this job, does is not in alignment with the job. So take tarot for a second. Or just spirituality. Most spiritualists they do they do their work because of fulfillment, helping other people see life from a different perspective, helping other people address their inner childs, child wounds, their traumas, and things like that. Heal their aspects of or those aspects of themselves. Right. This is not someone that's doing spirituality for that reason. She is doing it because it's a whole lot of money to gain from that field okay so that's kind of where it is but there are people in this institution that are more than likely fed up they feel bounded like people are living in bondage or working in bondage and maybe you came to this institution or this environment and you may have picked up on this situation but there's something you are doing that's going to end up freeing freeing these people from this bondage that this woman has imposed on this institution now right now these people may see you as an enemy because they've been programmed to see things from a specific light they've been programmed to see people like you as the enemy not knowing that you are really here to free them from bondage but towards the end and you see how this man is now in his emotions and going through some type of ascension he's healing this could be someone that went through the same thing and maybe their exposure to you help them see things from a higher perspective so this is something that's going to take place within an institution where it's that instead of people seeing you as the problem they're going to see start seeing you as like the resolution is that oh it's probably best to work with this person instead of trying to destroy them um it's probably best to show respect to this person because they're helping us get out of this bondage um because there are people in an institution that are being made to do things they really just don't want to do and there are people in there even though they've been there for maybe decades they still have that spark about themselves they still have a heart they're not so far gone that they don't see right from wrong right they, they know there's a blurry line like they know that Right is right, wrong is wrong, but there's some type of blurry line that has been created for them where it's that, well, you know, it's that, well, I've done this before. It's okay. I'll just do it again. Or there's no, it's not a big deal. I've done this a thousand times, but it's like every time they do it, even though it's a thousand time, they still feel some way about it. They feel funny about it. And that's because the, these are the people that have been able to hold on to who they are, even though they are associated with this institution and this woman. You feel me? Okay. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.